Hello everybody, my name is Perry Lincoln. Today I have an awesome video for you guys. Basically, I'm going to be talking about my rankings of the Disney Channel original Halloween movies. If you don't know, Disney Channel comes out with Halloween movies every once in a while that are original, basically made on Disney Channel, don't come out in theaters, they are just made for Disney Channel. Of course, you know, being obsessed with Halloween and Disney, I watch them constantly and I managed to come up with a list ranking all of the Halloween themed movies that they have come out with. There's not many, but I have strong opinions on most of them. I'm super excited to tell you guys my rankings. Of course, this is going to be a spoiler free ranking, so I'm not going to really go into much or like the endings or anything like that. I'm just going to talk about what I think about these certain movies. So how I'm doing these rankings is I am going from the ones I like the least to the ones I like the most. So we're going to start with the one I dislike the most. So anyway guys, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. The movie I dislike the most out of the Disney Channel original Halloween movies is Can of Worms. I don't know if this is considered like a Halloween movie, but I considered it. Personally, Can of Worms is just so... But if you don't know, Can of Worms is about aliens who visit Earth. That's about all I'm going to give away. But I actually remember watching this really young. And I remember it was because I would always have to go to sleep with the TV on. And I remember one time I woke up and Can of Worms was on the TV because they always played movies late at night. And it was very scarring. It was so... Oh, it was so weird. The movie itself is just extremely weird. The aliens themselves look so weird. The Oh, it's just so weird just thinking about it. It honestly really scarred me as a younger kid, and I'm sure a lot of people felt the same way. I looked it up and a lot of people actually do feel the same way. It's super creepy. I just uh, I don't like it. I really just don't like it. It's just so creepy, and I, I just, uh, it's, and it's so confusing for a younger kid, and it's just, uh, it's something that just scars you so much. Like, looking back, I'm like scared. <laughs> Next is actually a favorite for most people, and it is The Phantom of the Meg Megaplex. Honestly, I never really got into this movie. It's about, um, basically it's an opening night at a theater, and there's some person going around making mischief, stuff like that. And it's honestly so, it's really scary. It's again one of those movies that I was asleep and woke up and it was on the TV. And I actually enjoyed it a lot more than Can of Worms, but I got so confused throughout the entirety of it. It was just weird. Of course it was made in the 1990s, so it's not like the best. So congested with so much. It's just... Ooh, it's just being thrown at you and it's so drawn out too like there's points where you're like too creeped out to care but when you look back it's like wow they really dragged that out you know like but it's again really creepy for a Disney movie and I guess in the 1990s they didn't really have like you know don't scare the kids kind of thing going on but it's it's a creepy one I'll tell you that next is going to get a lot of hate but I will stand by my opinion. And it is the return to Halloween Town. Don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of Halloween Town. I love the series so much, but the last movie really disappointed me. First off, they changed Marnie. I don't know why they changed Marnie, but they did. I forgot to tell you guys, Return to Halloween Town is the fourth of the Halloween Town series, which is about a town where monsters live in peace. Yeah. Turn to Halloween Town, they changed the actress that has always played Marnie. And I got so mad because I love that. Oh, I got so attached to Marnie. And then they just decided to change her. And they didn't even try to hide the fact that she had blue eyes. Yeah. Also, there was just so many villains to keep up with. It's just. Oh, and they all had different personalities. And it's just. Like, a lot of villains is okay if they're all kind of in the same personality range or. You don't have to keep thinking, oh, is that a person a villain? Is that person a villain? It just, it throws a lot of stuff and it's just hard to keep up with because there's so many villains. Next is uh, Twitches 2, which again is a movie that doesn't live up to its predecessors. It just, you know, I would probably be a lot less harsh on it if it was like an original movie. It just doesn't live up to the original Twitches in my opinion. Again, I'm a Halloween movie fan and Twitches is really good in my opinion, but it just doesn't live up to its predecessor and I wish it did because I was actually looking forward to it when I was younger. And also, um, there's just not enough action in it for me. I'm a kind of person that really does enjoy some action. 
and there's just not enough in it for me like there was in the original Twitches. Next is Girl vs. Monster, and Girl vs. Monster is basically with this girl, and she finds out her parents are monster hunters. So I thought it was a very fun watch. It's the most recent Halloween Disney Channel original movie. I thought it was really, it was okay. It was it was decent. Like re recently, Disney Channel movies haven't been the best, but you know, Girl vs. Monster was de decent. But you know, the plot was kind of predictable. You know, and of course they had to sneak in the part where Olivia Holt had to sing. And it was, it was okay, but it was fun. It was a fun watch. This monster, it was a really fun watch, but the acting was terrible and a very predictable plot. Next is uh, Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire, which is a very straightforward plot. As you can tell, it's where children find out that their mother has got a date with a vampire. Wow. So it's actually a fun watch, like the last one I mentioned. Super fun to watch. But it's a very straightforward plot, very predictable, like I said with the last one. It was just like, oh, that's going to happen. You basically knew everything that was going to happen. There was no, oh my gosh, that's insane, twists, you know? It was very predictable for me. But still a very fun watch, especially if you're like a younger kid. You can show this to your younger kids. It's not going to like damage them any. Next, I have the Scream Team, which everyone wants this to be higher up on the list. I know, but it's basically like Ghost Hunters, if you guys don't know, you know. Moving into a new house, finding out there's ghosts, ah! I thought it was a good movie, but it wasn't one of my favorites. I know everyone is like, oh my gosh, my favorite Halloween movie is this green team. Well, it's just not one of my favorites. Next is Don't Look Under the Bed, which is about a boogeyman and, you know, this girl. And he, I can't go into any other detail, but let's just say that there's a boogeyman and a girl. And he tries to do stuff and we don't like it. But I really like this one. It was super amazing, you know, good time, but it was predictable. Disney movies have to be predictable, but again, it's just too predictable for my taste, but I still thought it was a really good movie. I loved watching it. Again, had that traditional 90s vibe I always like with these kind of movies, and it was cute. Very cute. Next, we're kind of getting into the more higher end of the list where like, I'm like, I love these movies so much. Next, we are going to Halloween Town 2 Calabar's Revenge. Now, everyone's going to say this one deserves to be higher up on the list. But personally, Halloween Town 2 Calabar's Revenge, it wasn't as good as the original Halloween Town for me. And it was, it was okay. This used to be my favorite Halloween Town movie. And then as I watched it, like, it, it kind of drolls on a little bit. Sometimes, like when they're searching for the socks and, you know, trap a, a part, it just... It drills on a little bit to me and I would find myself waiting for the parts where we'd be back in the normal world to see what Dylan and Sophie were gonna do. Like I would be waiting for that and be like bored with the magical world and that shouldn't happen. But other than that, I think the plot was really nice and I, again, used to be one of my favorites. Okay. So this next one is Under Wraps. Now I know a lot of you guys are like probably really young for this one. Again, it was a movie I woke up and it was on. But it it's really good. The child actors are actually amazing for their time because usually in the 90s, the child actors weren't that good, but it was surprisingly well acted out. It's about a mummy who gets loose in the city and it was a really amazing movie and I really loved it. It's the kind of movie you would show on a projector outside of your house on Halloween night. It was super funny, super amazing and super heartfelt and I just, I could feel all the emotion those actors were portraying and I just, I loved it so much. Ooh, I loved it so much. Next is Twitches. So I talked about the uh, sequel earlier and how I didn't really like it, but the Twitches now is actually really, it's really good. I really like this, the original movie. It's about these two girls who find out they're witches and they have to save their home country kind of stuff going on. And their home country, you know, it's called Coventry. It doesn't really exist, but it was a super, super good movie. And not many people can get away with creating a new universe. Like, you know, everyone talks about how J.K. Rowling created a new universe and a new world and how amazing that is. And I think Twitches really does that well with Coventry. They really create an amazing world for them to go to and just a whole other universe for us to get drawn into. Of course, I would have loved to see a little bit more of Coventry than they showed us, but you know, we can't always get what we want. <laughs> Next is probably was my favorite for reigning five years or so. Like it just changed over recently, but My Babysitter's a Vampire. Oh my 
God, I love that movie so much. Um, basically, it involves Vanessa Morgan, one of my favorite, well, basically my favorite female actress ever. I love Vanessa Morgan so much. And it's basically about, you know, this girl and she's a vampire. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it, but basically it's... They find out their babysitter's a vampire, and then there's other vampires, and they're trying to turn everyone. Of course, you know, I just, I fell in love with the characters. I love Benny. I love Ethan. I really love Benny. I love Rory. I love all of them. I love the show that came after it, even more than the movie, but we aren't talking about the shows. I just, oh my gosh, I love that movie so much, just thinking about it. And it's just, you know, it's a really enchanting storyline because you know it's a teen movie you know it takes place in high school and I, I love movies like that and it just there's not a dull moment it just keeps going and going and there's always a twist and I'm just like I love this movie so much so the next one is the original Halloween Town I know this one should be first but it's just my opinion and honestly this was the, I think, the first ever Halloween movie Disney put out, like as an original movie. And it was an amazing start to that era of Disney Channel original Halloween movies. Halloween Town was such a gripping story. It's like, oh my gosh, all these creatures are real. They're just in a different place. Like, how cool is that? It promotes a lot of magic and believing in young kids like it did with me. And I was like, oh my gosh. I love this so much. I could be a witch. It was so cute. And the magic element was so cute. And the storyline was so easy to follow, especially as a young kid. It did get a little scary, I'll admit. Like, maybe I should have put this down farther on the list because it did get a little scary with the whole movie theater scene going on. But it was so... I just, I loved exploring each of the new characters, like when the vampire and the werewolf came up. It was just so amazing to explore each new monster and character. And everything had personality. It was so amazing. And... I, I love that movie! So my last favorite, my favorite ever Halloween Disney Channel original movie is Halloween Town High. Now this isn't liked as much as the original Halloween Town by most, but I just, I'm obsessed with Halloween Town High because it, I'm obsessed with teen drama in Halloween and high school movies basically. And you're putting that all into one and I was just like, that is so cool and it really inspired me in my new book I'm writing on Wattpad and I just it's such an amazing ooh and it teaches such a good lesson about prejudice like you know you can't judge someone because they're a monster you know it teaches that and I love that message so much and it's just in such a real and relatable environment that it pulls you in so hard and you like you expect to go to high school tomorrow and see a troll walking around or something like that it was such a good storyline it was so amazing but also with that more real environment, it still holds the magic and the fun from the originals, you know? It still holds that, you know, walking around, seeing a goblin and stuff like that. It's just, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful story with such an amazing message behind it. And I just, oh my gosh, and it's just so amazing in the Halloween fair at the end. It's so amazing. If you watch any of these movies, please watch Halloween Town High and My Boobie Series of Vampire and Halloween Town. Just watch the top three, but I... I really love Halloween Town High. It's my favorite. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe. I'm making Halloween content and fall content all throughout the month of October, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye!